In this video, I want to go over how to get ground glass joints unstuck. This happens when your inner and outer joints are put together without any grease, any Teflon tape, or Glindman rings. I cover that in one of my other videos on how to use that stuff. The first thing you can try to do, in this case, you have the, uh, on top of a column here, you have an adapter stuck. With a pair of gloves, you can try to just try to pull on it and sometimes you can rock it a little bit back and forth. You may be able to work it loose. You can try twisting it a little bit, but you want to be careful that you're not putting a lot of force on any side seals that are on that adapter because that can just snap off. If that doesn't work, the next thing you can try is you want to take and you want to be able to wrap this and kind of the vibration kind of jars it loose. You want to use something rigid. <clears throat> Here's a handle of a screwdriver, but it's, it's rubber and that's not, not good enough. You certainly don't want to use any metal against it, that's a little too hard. Here I have a plastic handle and that's like, that's a pretty good. You can also use Wood is a very good substance. You can take it and vibrate that. Excellent to have a wooden mallet. <clears throat> the best way to get a wooden mallet is to order a bushel of crabs and they usually throw a mallet in there with it. Best way to get one. Anyway, so you can kind of hit the inner piece away. Be careful tapping that side piece. Good way of doing it is to hold the inner and tap the outer and it, it'll come away because that way you're striking that away. Same thing, this is another common piece that gets gets stuck and that's again wrapping it away. <clears throat> if that doesn't work, what you can try, if you haven't allowed, you can just take this and simply soak it in your ultrasonic cleaner for as long as necessary and sometimes that works. If all that doesn't work, then the next option would be to bring it to the glass shop. And in the glass shop, what we'll do, we'll try those other methods first because a lot we have a little more experience as far as how hard to wrap it. <clears throat> the next thing we'll do is we will take and we'll apply some heat. Now, the idea is that we heat up the outer joint. It expands quicker than the inside joint. And then it'll release. You have to heat it quickly. You could try in the lab using your Bunsen burner, but that's not, that's not hot enough. So we will take this and we will get a nice hot fire and actually heat up the outer joint very quickly. And it will come out quite easy like that. Other things that we'll do if that doesn't work is we'll run it in the annealing oven. We'll run it up to 565 degrees centigrade. Uh, if there's any contaminants in between the surface of the inner and outer that will bake that out and then we can go ahead after it runs in the oven use the ultrasonic uh, twisting it and things like that to try to get it out. Now for penny head stoppers that might be stuck we do have a device down here that will clamp onto the penny head and brace up against the outer joint and it's a nice little fancy little tool that it can actually pull and extract that out. Very helpful uh, if your vessel contains a sample that is, um, you need to recover that uh, and or spring it to the glass shop and we'll do the best we can. If nothing else, we can cut off the connection and pull the sample out and repair the glassware. Any questions, come to the glass shop.